Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be revisiting the um, heat, heated bed analysis that we did a while back ago on the Creality CR10. So one of the things a number of folks pointed out, in which they're correct, uh, basically to the thermal camera, the PEI bed or this covering is, is basically translucent uh, and it's reading the bed. But a lot of people you know, complained and stated, hey, you know, you can't read off a shiny bed. I I'm not so sure I agree with them on that, that piece. So what I've done is I've set this up. So I have this piece of blue tape over here that's on the actual aluminum bed. I have this piece that's on the P PEI bed. And then I have these two sensors attached um, to the PEI bed itself. And so we have the uh, temperature reading over there. Now I've got the FLIR camera set up over here that'll monitor uh, this when I start it. And then I'll have the uh, other camera monitoring the display of the um, Creality over there. So that'll be monitoring that. And then so we'll be able to do a comparison of the heat exchange from this aluminum bed into the PEI. And then we'll also be able to measure if there's a difference between the aluminum and what the aluminum is and the difference from the uh, panel and then what it is on the PEI. So let's go ahead, let's jump into it. I'm going to get this set up and uh, we'll start to run. Now I'm going to run this in real time uh, in, in regards to the, the whole heat up. So we're going to go through it once and then uh, we'll see how that goes so I can show you guys uh, how this works. works. Okay, so we started, I've set the uh, uh, control to take this to 72 degrees. So let's see what we have because uh, we can see the bed heating up a little bit unevenly and it's definitely heating up on this side a little bit more. I'm going to move the FLIR camera over. So I'm having a hard time seeing the the rectal on there. They changed the FLIR app since the last time I did it. It's only been about a week or so since uh, that, but they've updated the FLIR app, so this is a little bit different, a little bit harder to see. But one of the things you can definitely see is it's heating up over here uh, far more. So I kind of, well, I don't know if I wish I'd have moved the, uh, but you can see the, so the bed temperature on, on this gauge here is what, about 27? And I'm 32 on that. And I really can't tell what I'm on this because it's, it's white. I might have to look when I'm uh, in post-production because I'm, I really can't see that. Use a little bit different pair of glasses. And let's see, so that's 37, 38, I believe. And so, so that's running pretty close, I think. I'll have to kind of zoom in. I think that's 39, but for some reason they decided to do a white. Now I'm at 42 on the, um, which is interesting. It's showing 43 on the uh, PEI right now. So I'm at 45. And then if I move this back over, having a hard time seeing the numbers. There we go. So for some reason, this is running hotter, or at least it's saying in an infrared sense it's hotter. Um, but now, so I'm at 45 and notice I'm at uh, about 38. Now I'm starting to develop a little bit of differential between the front and the back of the, the bed. Uh, so it's uh, actually as it's warming up, it's getting a little bit different. And again, I'm running at about 51. And I'm running about 53. So for some reason, uh, from an infrared standpoint, I seem to be running higher, quite a bit higher on the um, PEI. However, on the actual bed, I'm running about 54, and it says I'm about 52. 
and this says I should be 44. So I wonder... I wonder why. Now, one of the things I also did is I made sure that the tape segments were the same size. So both of these are the same size. Um, so they're five inch pieces of, I think, four inch tape, or three inch tape. And so I'm running, I think it's 60 degrees C, and it's showing I'm 52. So again, one of the things also note on the infrared which is overlaid. I'm running uh, quite a bit higher temperature too on, on, on this side of the bed than I am the other side. Now the last time I was a little bit more uniform. I wonder if it has something to do um, with the tape on the PPI reflecting the heat. I want to see if this balances out. Because um, again, I'm at 52. And again, you can see I'm running a little bit of a difference between front and back. And I'm at 61 on the console over there on the actual controller. So I'm, I'm now about 10 degrees off. So let's, uh, let's see how this settles in. So I've been running this now for almost 5 minutes. Actually, 4 minutes and 45 seconds. And... I'm at 67 on the PIA according to the FLIR and I think I'm at 67, is that right? On the uh, bed itself. Again, I'm having a real hard time reading this. I, I'm going to have to see if I, there's a way I can change it to black or something. That's kind of dumb because the brighter it gets, the, uh, the lighter it gets. So. Uh, but again, I'm now 66 on the controller, and I'm now 56, 57 over here on the actual temperature probes. Uh, I seem to be 69 on the aluminum bed. It's now 70. And I now seem to be 72. So these two are, are sort of catching up to one another, uh, which is interesting. I think part of the thermal issue is the heat bouncing back and forth between the bed and the bottom of the tape and, and the P, P, e, P, e, I, I'll spit that out if you say it so many times it kind of gets a little bit funky and again I think it's around 74 and again I'm going to caution this and I'll correct anything any missed numbers in post when I'm looking at this uh, closer up as an overlay because again one of the pieces I'm having a hard time seeing it now I'm at 70 degrees on the controller. Um, and this guy went to sleep on me. Let's wake him back up. Job's not done. So I'm at 70 on the controller. My uh, 71 now. My actual probes are reading 60. I'm now six and a half minutes into this. Um, so now I'm at 72. So it's come up to temperature. It's taken six and a half minutes to come up to temperature. I'm now reading 76 on the PEI, and then I'm going to move this over, and I'm now reading, I think, about 75, I think it's 75, on the aluminum. So this is all, I would say, I would say pretty close, guys, because one of the things, um, you know, I struggled with is a lot of people said, oh, this is impossible, you can't read off aluminum. But I'm not, again, I'm not a, so sure I'm a buyer of that. Uh, you know, I, I won't argue that it's the best. But, like, if I move it over here, let's go over off, off this. So I'm now looking at, I believe, where, I'm going to move it a little bit over because I'm not sure where the rectal is. So I'm reading about 76 degrees on the bed right now in infrared. I'm reading about 61, 63 through the PEI. Now if I go back here, now that was sort of in the hot spot. If I go back to the bed, I'm looking at roughly 74 degrees on that. So I, this is hotter over here. So I, I, again, I'm not buying the fact you can't read this bed with an infrared camera. Um, 
probably, you know, because again, I think this is probably a little bit hotter over here than it is over there, uh, is part of the reasons for this. But again, I'm now set in about 75, I think. My controller's still locked at 72. And my PEI is still about 76. And, and again, I think part of the difference is that tape. Um, I think it's 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 actually building up heat between the uh, tape and in the bed itself, at least uh, capturing a little bit. It's acting maybe as a bit of an insulative material, uh, and that's why I'm running the little bit of difference. But uh, you notice the two kind of caught up to one another over time. Now, one of the things I'm doing so at six minutes and thirty seconds, um, it reached temperature. I'm now at nine minutes. So I'm two and a half minutes past, and I'm just I'm watching to see if the P P E I catches up. So um, I'm still running at about 62. So this is uh, one of the interesting things. Probably worth note is a lot of times in P L A on the straight bed I was running with tape about 60 60 C, and I found if I kicked it up to about 70 C, I got better results, and I think you know with. And I think this is part of the reason because at about 70 degrees, I'm getting about 62. I trust this a little bit more than I do the Fleur actually, because the Fleur is going to be more of an estimate, and it's also going to have other um, factors. Now the other piece is I have these taped down, so it is there's an insulative factor with the tape above it, preventing the heat probably from escaping. But I would think that would actually raise the temperature, not lower the temperature. And again, I'm sitting at about 75 degrees on the PEI, where this is, whoops, if I don't knock the meter over, is showing I should be at 62. So that's a pretty good size delta between the FLIR and the, uh, the actual uh, reading of this, basically what I call mechanical, it's, it's electrical, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, direct connect. Now what I want to do is I want to move this back over uh, to here and again I'm running about 75 so there's a, thermally at least from the FLIR these two look very close so there does appear to be a fairly good heat exchange between the aluminum bed and the PEI substrate which is actually interesting. Now I'm closing on about 11 minutes and you notice I, I still haven't gotten any change. So even even after it sits now, what the, I'm closing on 11 minutes. So that's what uh, three and a half minutes. I really haven't gotten any temperature build mechanically or from the flur either, because I'm still again on the flur about se depending where I read it here about 76 degrees and then 75 roughly 74 75 over here but one of the pieces you'll notice is that for some reason this time around uh, this this is hotter here and again I think it's for the tape now one of the things I want to do is I'm going to for grins and giggles I'm going to pull up this tape and I'm going to see this by the way this tape is hot uh, now no, notice the flur, notice the heat change because I, I, I think just as I had guessed this was acting as an insulator, insulative material because now you can kind of see uh, it's reading about 74 on the aluminum where the tape was 74.3 I think and then if I move this over this is reading about still about 74 so again, okay, blue tape, no blue tape, about this, but basically the same temperature, guys. So I'm again, I'm still not sold. I can't read this bed now. And again, I think we'd have to do a control and kind of go through this again and see what the delta was. But I think uh, again, um, thermally, I think the PI is transparent. Uh, to the to the FLIR camera, especially with the tape removed. Uh, so, but again, you can start seeing the heat leach a little bit that way. I'm going to look at the screen here. So anyways, we've been now running 13 minutes. Um, 
The controller is still locked in at 72 degrees, so which is my target. I've been holding pretty steady on both the um, the Fleur and the mechanicals. So this this has not gained any temperature. Now I'm 13 and a half minutes in. So. Um, this is not this is not a heat sink. This is not uh, collecting heat and, and then redistributing it per se. Uh, in the fact of to build up the temperature. In other words, if I let this run all night long, it'll dissipate as much heat. It'll just pass it through, and I think it'll just stay at this temperature uh, without building upward. So, anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys so you can kind of see now how the PEI transfers heat. Um, I might do another video. Uh, with glass. I may put the glass bed on and do a similar video with that. Um, so we'll see. But uh, I found this actually very interesting. So we've got now comparisons uh, with the Fleur, with the direct meter, and with the controller over here. So anyways, uh, hopefully that dispels some myths or at least gives us something more to talk about. Uh, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm sure you will. And I, I actually look forward to it. So don't, don't think you're hurting my feelings by hitting me up below and saying, you know, hey, Joe, this isn't the whatever. I, I'm very much open to the d different discussions and willing to kind of debate till the cows come home, if you will, um, because it just makes for better stuff. And um, Swag Chap's going to be up there. Subscribe button's going to be over there. And hey, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.